Hello YouTube, this is Buck. How are you doing? I can say welcome in my Windows XP Maxi Lite system uh, running on the Peugeot laptop, the 233 MHz with 96 MB RAM. Let me show that to you. We are recording with Camtasia 2. Point something. It's a very old version of Camtasia but very powerful. As you can see, creating AV file here um, on the go. Uh, when this uh, recording is finished, we will have a fantastic AV file that we can immediately uh, convert to MP4 and then, you know, edit it with a cool system, add some effects and add some, you know. Here it is, 233 megahertz, 6, 96 megabyte of RAM. Okay, I did not install anything yet. I did install um, uh, the team and uh, I did that by going into resources and creating uh, putting the team in there in Windows resources so some of you might know I showed it in the installation video but for those that did not see this that video in fact I did two little things on the system I installed uh, the bottom bar as you can see it's called uh, rocket dock but it's a special version and in resources here uh, I put the folder that I have with the team files that make it looks like Windows 8 uh, I put it in here it's a special team created by friends of mine uh, at Defian Art and in, in fact here it is you see that Windows 8 so that's what I installed and I also installed the rocket dock it's on my C drive most of you know that already things that I'm gonna install yeah on the system is cool edit but to get on the internet I will have to fix the WPA uh, of uh, this machine because it's not ready yet to connect to these uh, Wi-Fi connections and as browser we will in, uh, install the Chameleon browser so let's go ahead and install some of these things we're doing this while recording is this is yeah what you're seeing now is really old school this uh, was done somewhere in I can't even remember when this was possible I think somewhere 2007 uh, Camtasia started out I'm not even sure maybe it was even sooner 2006 uh, with Camtasia and version 2 was created on 18 July my birthday somewhere in 2007 that is this version so this version is in fact uh, some years old already eight years old well not really seven years and six months so I'm gonna pause this because this makes my machine works really hard and we don't want it to get stuck so I'll be right back the installer is unpacking really slow but uh, we all know why that is so uh, just have patience here and uh, give it, it give it some time okay we are recording and installing and that was something very special for that time and on a machine with such low uh, specification okay my friends we are now at the installing part and we're installing uh, Chameleon browser. It's a very light browser that you should uh, really try one day if you're on a system with not so much power. Uh, but I think even powerful systems will love uh, Chameleon. Uh, they already updated, so in fact, this is a version before the latest version. So I will uh, get an update message after you know installing this and using it. I will get a kind of update. And YouTube will also start complaining that you know this version of uh, Firefox it's calling it it's seeing it as Firefox so in fact this is a Firefox clone but uh, made way lighter and yeah it runs good on the compact at least good <laughs> you know what I mean we can do our thing okay my friends uh, as you can see Camleon has been installed of course we're not gonna launch it that would be ridiculous because uh, we have more installers to do um, so we have Camtasia we have the team we have Rocket Dock 
and we now installed a chameleon browser so what will we continue with we could continue with for instance the driver for our wireless network card because this thing uh, will not be an internet machine but it wants uh, to connect to uh, servers of course that are streaming music so of course we will uh, make sure that this thing can also go on the internet so we need to fix the drivers and I have a little Wi-Fi stick it's based on the on the Ralink 2500 uh, card the chipset it's from Ralink and uh, in, in principle in fact uh, we're gonna just uh, install it um, and then we can afterwards just pop in this uh, USB stick so I'm gonna pause and when that is done I'm gonna get back to you here you can see it Ralink wireless LAN setup is preparing etc etc okay I want to show you something in the installer I'm gonna say install driver only so I will not install uh, yeah in fact all the software that also comes with it because I don't need it Windows has its own uh, little connect to Wi-Fi uh, app and you know if you also select uh, the Ralink uh, LAN utility W LAN utility then it will uh, kind of get uh, too full in your little taskbar there because many things will run at the same time using more memory okay the driver is installed but it will only be able to connect to open Wi-Fi web networks and web but it will not be able to connect to WPA so we will have to run this little fix and it's from Microsoft so you know all credits go to Microsoft for this file Here you can see that we will need to restart of course we will not restart now because we just uh, want to finish this uh, complete installation so now our machine is Wi-Fi ready okay it's Wi-Fi ready now and we can even go ahead on the news uh, go ahead and read the news on the internet or connect to some server we will also need uh, some old version of, of iTunes or some other uh, streaming radio thing that will bring in the files but of course we also my friends we need codecs and uh, somewhere here I should also have some codecs and this is in fact my tool uh, USB stick uh, up here you know I can get to certain files that I need uh, whenever I you know um, build a new machine for instance this is the k light codec pack it's very very powerful because this codec pack will let us use uh, certain uh, files you know uh, video files and audio files mp3 will be installed at C try you know ACC um, or what was it AC4 or so all these drivers that you need all these codecs these are not drivers in fact they are it's named codecs will be installed and uh, you will be able to do kind of many things more than you could before you know so it, this is important and um, this file that I have the thousand ten thousand five or the thousand five uh, package in fact is a package without spyware this was when you know the company wasn't dealing with things like that yet when they still had probably their own investments going into the system and you know paying for the user and advertising their stuff getting popular this was uh, a good time because uh, yeah uh, because your CPU only CPU family 6 newer is supported oh 
okay I was talking a lot already but then for these problems we of course have this other codec pack and we just take this one and um, to tell you the truth this codec pack did install on the co uh, on the compact so in fact um, yeah I'm very surprised that it's not installing on this machine okay so you can see that uh, the processor of the compact armada you know has more privileges it's getting more uh, done in fact that while it's only uh, 144 megahertz more power than this machine but it makes the difference Anyway, we're gonna check this codec pack now and see how this runs. Oh, am I running the wrong one? I maybe need this one. No. This cannot run too. My CPU is sorted. I do have a package that works. Hold on. Because we're dealing with such an old processor, we need a special version of K-Lite codec pack. And uh, it will be version 3.9. So I just downloaded it and I'm gonna install it. There you go, my ladies and gentlemen. We can install it. So let's look at the install. Let me show you how to install it. We, we select lots of stuff, okay? And then we continue, we continue, we continue, continue, and that's it. No spyware, no nothing. So this fantastic pack. Well, uh, peeps, that's about it for now. Uh, I installed this all and uh, I'm playing with it a bit and I can say, that you must really uh, know what to install for instance uh, iTunes version 5 will be installed is 12 years old <laughs> so yeah things like that um, you must make good choices and then you can have a fantastic old system playing some music for you or you know whatever you're doing on it maybe you want to play Pac-Man or you want to run some emulator in it some Atari emulator or some Amiga emulator you know or some MIDI program you want to create uh, music um, with MIDI there are several old packages Cubase 5, Cubase 3 SX should run on, on, on a machine like this you know they used to run on less so uh, don't underestimate the system even though it's kind of slow uh, to do the things that we do today uh, you can be very creative on machines like this and as I said in previous videos a machine like this could still make you a hundred million dollar <laughs> if you know how to use it and if you know what to do with it and you do it in the right way peeps this was my video hope you enjoyed it the best of you puck like subscribe and till my next video bye bye